Hi, my name is Mark Joseph, and I'm a South Florida family law attorney. And I'm here to answer whether mothers can be on child support in the state of Florida. One question that I often get is whether or not mothers can be on child support. Before I get into the answer, I'd like to explain briefly how child support is essentially calculated. Child support is calculated by using the net incomes of the parents. That figure with daycare, aftercare, health insurance included can essentially determine what child support is. What's also considered is something called gross up, which is the substantial time sharing that each parent has with the child. So long as each parent has over 20% of time sharing with the minor child or children, the child support amount would reduce. The theory essentially is a parent with no time sharing with the child should not have the same calculation of child support as someone who spends substantial time with the child. That being said, although typically mothers tend to be the ones to receive support in my experience, it is definitely possible that mothers can pay child support. The reason why this is possible or the situations in which it can be possible can vary. One example is the child or children live primarily with the father in that the father has the majority of the time and the mother has less than 20%. The same calculation that I made that I made reference to previously broken down may result in the mother having to pay the father child support. Of course, this responsibility likely would not occur unless that father has established his paternal rights. I have a video on the same if you'd like to learn more about that. Another example can be both parents have substantial time with the child. However, the mother just makes more than the father or in calculating between the time that each parent has with the child and the incomes that the parties have, it just results in the mother having to be responsible for child support to the father. Now, the calculation isn't complicated, but it details a lot of factors, and there is a formula that's cited by statute. So each case is very unique, and if you aren't sure how to do so, I strongly suggest you consult with an attorney. The important thing to take from this is that child support isn't gender specific. There is no presumption that one parent should get child support over the other. Child support is the right of the child. And if the mother so happens to be the one who's in a position based on the calculation to pay support, the father has just as much right to collect child support and enforce child support as if the situation was reversed. If you or someone you know may be in such a situation and would like more assistance and how to address it, feel free to contact my office. The information is below and we'll set you down for a consultation. This is Mark Joseph and thank you for watching.